back from my holiday to Ibiza and I had a lovely time with looks by Sharon here on YouTube and we had so much fun uh, we went for five days and the first three days were shit because the weather was horrible <laughs> I mean we expected Ibiza to be like sunny and sort of like sweat your ass off and just you know wear shorts and you know basically walk the streets naked and we ended up wearing leather jackets uh, full on leggings biker boots and all that so the first three days were uh, weather wise horrible but like like the two of us had so much fun anyway and then in the last two days we had real Ibiza weather where it was like hot and like the locals were nicer on the last two days because the locals really where we were staying really weren't that nice to us the first three days so um yeah so my holiday was amazing and to kind of get back into the swing of things I thought it would be fun to do a haul on what I bought in Ibiza and I mainly went to Mac and Kiko and Kiko is probably my favorite sort of entire thing of of today nowadays so as my first video back from holiday I thought it would be fun to do a haul and to sort of chit chat and relax and just share share my experience with you and my look today is inspired by a hair show I did makeup for uh, yesterday actually in Belgium my amazing friend Joyce who you could have seen in the Yankee Candle haul was chef makeup for the hair show so she was the boss of the makeup department which <laughs> included me and her so <laughs> and Joyce did a really high fashion avant-garde look for the show and I did a really sort of soft sculpting lots of glow red lip kind of look and uh, this is uh, the look on one of my models and I kind of took inspiration from that and wore it on my face today so without any further ado let's go on to the haul so I'm gonna start off with the Mac things because I only got two Mac things uh, but two exciting Mac things first off I got the Mac 159 brush and it's sort of a sister of the 130 brush I talked about in my March hits and a God knows this is sort of a a, a sort of flatter more blush shaped uh, blush brush shape wise thing magic and you can use this the exact same way as I described the 130 brush in my March hits and God knows video this range of Mac brushes is amazing so sort of the duo fiber combination brushes those are amazing all of them I think it is been freaking tastic I might even like it better than the 130 because this just buffs in foundation even prettier and it just glides on even better so the 159 look out for it in my April hits in the God knows because I'm sure it will be in it and because you guys know I love my MAC natural radiance I have it in radiant pink I also wanted the radiant yellow it's the exact same consistency and formula and touch that it gives to the skin as with the pink one but the yellow one is to fight redness a little bit more and just I am a fan freaking tastic fan of the natural radiance by Mac so that's the Mac stuff let's go on to the Kiko which is really exciting I love, I love Kiko so I'm just gonna put my hand in the bag and just find out what's coming out the first thing that's coming out is from their new summer collection this is the creamy touch eyeshadow duo and I love the packaging the box and this is 101 these were new they had lots and lots of colors and I got the most natural one of them with a really nice sort of mauvey taupey color and a nude color so I'm gonna use the nude color for on my waterline or to like highlight and sculpt uh, my eyes or whatever I want to highlight and sculpt and the movie gray color is gonna go for like sculpting the crease doing some eyelash work I can't swatch them yet because I'm gonna do blog post reviews on basically all of this so I don't want to you know ruin the product yet but this is amazing I'm really liking it plus they're so smudge and waterproof it's insane I swatched them on my hand on uh, in the store and I just you know did some browsing and just looked around and then I wanted to wipe them up with my other hand and it didn't come off so that's great <laughs> This is from the earlier spring summer collection I talked about before and I also did a blog post review on other palettes and this is the Rock Attraction blush in number four pop apricot and oh my god 
This is sort of like the cutest, brightest, and clearest peachy pink apricot color. It's amazing. It has a really soft shine, and it just really pops. Next, I got another blush by that same collection, and this is Rock Attraction Blush number two in Guitar Rose. I love this so much. It's such a cool-toned, bright pink um, but still on the on the more softer side, so it's still wearable and it still makes your complexion look so bright and awake and spring-like and it's just, I love this color. Last blush of the collection is one of the more highlighter shades. They had a couple of really shiny, shimmery colors of the blushes as well. And this is the lightest one. This is the Rock Attraction Blush in number one, Pearly Rock. Oh, gosh. Holy highlighter. This is one Max Vanilla Pigment and a Natural Flirt Extra Dimension eyeshadow had a baby and just this came out. It's a little bit cooler than a Natural Flirt and a little bit warmer than Vanilla. I really, really like this. It's a little bit more pinky on the skin. It has a really awesome gold pink duochrome and just, um, I'm wearing Vanilla today, but when wearing this, it's a little bit warmer and less cool tone and stark. So, amazing color. Can't wait to dig in and just brush this all over my face and feel like a luminous goddess all day long. Next is the Dazzling Highlighter in Moonlight Gold. I got this because of Sharon as well. She has been, she's been getting everyone on this boat. It's a stick highlighter and it is gorgeous. The gold shimmery shine this gives is amazing. It is a little bit on the glittery side and it is a little bit much, but I think for like a party or if you're really going for that ultimate glowy goddess skin, uh, this will work perfectly. Then a velvet stick blush by Kiko in four Cadillac pink. Oh, I loved this in the store. And this is again a stick and it's a blush and oh, I can't Watch it, I need to blog post on it. I would totally see this as like a stick dupe for the uh, Guitar Rose blush. So if you're like more of a powder type of person, then go for this. If you're a, a creamy and stick kind of person, go for this. But I really like this. I, I was so pleasantly surprised by this because it's pigmented. It goes on like butter and you just need a little bit. I can't show you that yet, but in the store, it was amazing. They had cupcake nail polishes, meaning that they dry in sort of like that liquid sand finish, but with like a cupcake finish. So they, like the liquid sand had different colors. This is the first color. This is the Kiko cupcake nail lacquer in 647 and it's a really nude soft 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 lilac shade with okay the cupcake colors in this are blue red orange and I can definitely hint a little bit of mint and another cupcake nail lacquer is 655 and this is a mint green and the cupcake colors in this are dark blue bright blue orange and red and again I just the effects of these are amazing I'm waiting for my nails to grow out and for my cuticles to become a better person because <laughs> looks like shit. But once I got this all sorted out, I will do nail swatches and post them on my Instagram or, or my blog or both. Some more nail polishes I got are the uh, 380, which is a really nice uh, dark gray, but it has a, a sort of hint of purple in it, making it a little bit more wearable and nicer to the skin and not as sort of gray. And also I love this color. This is a 338. Oh, I can't even deal. It's sort of like a mix of periwinkle with like lavender and oh. amazing. I got the cuticle trimmer. So not exciting for on camera. I also went to a makeup store and I got a high tech lighter in full moon. Once the top layer of this is moved, there will be like a red shine will arise. Who remembers the MAC Hyper Real Foundations? Now, if you remember that, then once you held it in the light or in some certain lights and on your skin, you could see this sort of red toned glow shine sheen 
a, it was like red. If you know what I'm talking about, as you know, the Hyper Real Foundations by MAC got discontinued a long time ago, and I always loved that shine, and I love the effect that it gave. So now I found the High Tech Lighter by Makeup Store in Slow Moon, and once my finger goes on top of this and smears it out, this sort of red sheen will come out, but it's a really nice wearable red sheen, and it's really pretty, and it makes your skin look so awesome. No, oh, I love it. So yeah, empty. That concludes my Kiko and Mac and makeup store haul from Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. I had so much fun with Looks by Sharon and definitely go check out her channel. It's Looks by Sharon here on YouTube. It is, all her videos are in Dutch. So just so you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. For a full list of every single product mentioned, go to my website, nakedtutorials.com plus what is on my face. Face, 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 beauty, face, face, face. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I am back to my normal uploading schedule. So uh, today is Tuesday, new video on Friday. I hope I will see you on Friday. Bye. So weird.